Well, hello and welcome back. And thanks for coming back. Look at that for a view. Absolutely spectacular. Not the brightest of days, not the best of days, but even on a rainy day in downtown Paphos, that's the view that you get. The sky, it's a little bit blue. The sea, it's a little bit blue. One thing's for sure, Mr. Paul is dressed head to toe in blue. Let's go for a little drive along an area called Rickos Beach and let's work our way along Pasadonis Avenue, which to me and you is the Hotels Road. And I'll name one or two as we go on our travels. But I warn you now, if your name is Lady, oh, oh so, so sweet Caroline, I get your bottom on a memory foam pillow because this road surface is a road surface that's way, way beyond Sherlock Holmes. And just before you do, pull a tot or two for the man known as Lord Nigel Big Guns. Here we go, let's get on to the tarmac, but I promise you, the tarmac along this stretch of the road is not much better. As we head out, I'm gonna name one or two of the hotels and uh, some of the superstars that perhaps have either stayed there or are gonna stay there in the very, very near future. It's a beautiful beach, by the way, Rickos Beach. If you go hunting back and pop Rickos Beach, Marika and me in the YouTube search bar, you'll find us once or twice moseying along that beach. And once or twice, we even bump into some of the superstars and have a chat or two on camera. But it really is one of the best beaches in Paphos. And if you are staying in one of the beach front hotels, all you have to do is come out of the rear entrance and take a left and keep walking and you will get to the Rickos Beach. The closest hotel to it is that one just over there now on the left hand side and that is the Lewis Fighton Hotel. So to walk to that beach from that hotel take you about five minutes. If you're in the Annabelle Hotel which is the closest hotel to the actual promenade and harbour area it'll probably take you around about 30 minutes when you come out of the back door and take a left. But either way, it's not far. And of course, as Lady, oh, oh so sweet Caroline understands, if you're staying in the Alexander the Great Hotel, there's also a very, very nice little church, little white church with a rather nice blue roof with a sunset viewing point. That's a very, very nice place to walk to first thing in the morning or later on in the afternoon. Again, pop a little white church with a blue roof, Marika and me, into the YouTube search bar and you'll find us once or twice at that church. And it's a beautiful, beautiful little church. Whether you're religious or not, that doesn't make much difference. So, here we are, Rickos Beach, and we're slowly gonna to transcend towards the Pasadonis Avenue, or to you and me, Hotels Road. And I'm gonna name one or two of the hotels along the, well, the trip, shall we say, and uh, hopefully, you're gonna to get to familiarize yourself with the location of the hotels in relation to, should we say, some of the bars and restaurants, the Paphos Promenade area and the Harbour area. So the Louis Fighton Hotel, which is the first one coming up on the left very, very shortly. If you were gonna walk it to the Harbour, will probably take you around about 30, possibly even 40 minutes if you are, well, meandering, shall we say. But a very, very pleasant walk, whether you go out the back entrance and use the coastal pathway, or whether you come out their front entrances and use the pavement along Pasadonas Avenue. Now, along the way, there are various restaurants and bars, or watering holes, should we call them, and gift shops and hairdressing salons and higher rentings of cars and scooters. So don't be worried, you're not too far away from where the action is if you're on the Pasadonas Avenue. And if you're gonna stay in a hotel and you're curious to know perhaps where it is, you drop it in the comments and we'll do our very, very best to explain to you where it is into relation to all the action. And if you want us to go and make a special, special video on that hotel, again, well, buy us a couple of coffees and that video will be coming for you very, very soon indeed. So, Louis Fighton Beach Hotel, luxury four-star hotel, which is on the cusp of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea, and a very, very popular hotel indeed. One of our most famous superstars, a man called Lord Dave Jono, he likes a bet or two. He resided in that, in that hotel, and uh, he said it wasn't too bad, should we say. And many other people have resided there as well, haven't they? Coming up next, this is the 
Pioneer Beach Hotel. Again, a luxury hotel that sits on the beachfront of downtown Paphos. Spectacular views out of its rear entrance. And this is the pavement that uh, is not too bad. You know, some of the pavements are uneven, but this pavement in this part of town is not too bad. So if you've got push chairs or you're on an electric scooter, legally or illegally, if you understand me, or perhaps you are in a wheelchair, it's accessible, shall we say. I'm not going to say they're the greatest pavements in the world, but they are accessible. This hotel coming up now, the Ivan Mari Hotel, a luxury, adults-only, five-star hotel. The next one on the left-hand side is the Cypria Bay Hotel, a very, very popular hotel. I remember quite a few people have moseyed on down in there. And, of course, Jay Mack, well, you know what happens to you if you're a naughty boy. Leonardo Cyprian Maris, some superstars staying in there as we speak, and one of them actually is a star. Star is even in her name, and her name is Miss Anna Star. And I'm going to mosey on down and have a bit of a chin wag a chat with her and her husband tomorrow. And you never know, we might even get to go for a coffee or two. Next one, Athena Beach Hotel, luxury four star hotel. Again, that sits on the beachfront and we've stormed that hotel once or twice pop Athena Beach Marika and me in the YouTube search bar and of course up we will come monkeying around as we do what's coming up next well it's sister hotel and it's called the Athena Royal Beach some of them don't have many imagination in the names do they so adults only hotel again pop it into the Marika and me search bar on YouTube and of course up it will come and then just down there to the left is the Lewis Imperial Beach Hotel and we know who's going to stay there very very soon and of course her name is the superstar known as Sally Bryce and of course she's going to chuchuchka dance along the promenade with Mr Matt Dyers especially for you. Coming up next hotel doesn't need much introduction and it's known as one of the best hotels in downtown Paphos and of course it is the Olympic Lagoon Resort and that's on the left. We've, well, we've moseyed on down in there once or twice. We've been thrown out once or twice as well. Go and hunt for us on the search bar on the little channel called YouTube. And Pura Resort on the left-hand side. The boys known as Double Trouble or Double Pressure or a couple of pains as I call them. Lord Jeremy and Lord Simon. They resided there for a week just before Christmas gone and they said it was rather nice indeed. Anesthesia Beach Bar. And the thing that we call the snake for a spectacular view out across the blue blue mediterranean sea coming up next this is the amavi luxury five-star hotel it sits on the cusp of the blue blue mediterranean sea joe cox his beautiful wife miss julie she stayed there and of course their sister came along miss kath and mr colin and they both celebrated their birthdays there just before christmas they liked it so much that they're going to do it all over again this year this hotel doesn't need much of an introduction. Alexander the Great, superstar after superstar stayed in there. The next one on the block, that's Dayman. She's coming to town in less than two weeks. Top floor so that she can take advantage of the spectacular sunset view. The next one coming up, the Almira. Luxury five-star resort and spa, again sits on the cusp of the blue blue mediterranean sea and now there's some big diggering going on as you can see there's plenty of restaurants and bars as we transcend down towards the Cade of Paphos promenade because that's next if you understand me as we take a bit of a left here we're going to head out towards the Paphos promenade and the last hotel but by no means the least is the luxury five-star hotel known as the Annabelle that's coming up on the left great great hotel again Annabelle Hotel, Marika and me, drop it in the search bar on YouTube and you're going to find us moseying on down in there. And again, we have a chat with some people that are staying there. So this is the start of the descent into the area known as Downtown Promenade in downtown Keda Paphos. You've got Marios Diamonds, he's open again. So husbands, if I was you, I'd be very, very careful indeed. You've got the Royal Restaurant there on the right, one of our favorites, that belongs to the Dionysus Hotel Central, which is just set back there. And probably that's the closest hotel to the actual promenade, if you understand me. But uh, 
it's not five star it's three star very very nice hotel indeed and uh, some superstars have confirmed that we understand that uh, Mr. Reed and Miss Catherine, they said in there, they said it was great. Miss Andrew and Mr. Mark, they really liked it. And of course, very, very soon, Miss Flora is coming in and hopefully she's gonna let us know if it's any good. Now, what's this one doing? Obviously waiting to pick someone up, I would assume. But now he's decided he'd better move. There we go. Some of the hotels, obviously, you know, it's difficult to pick up and drop off, but you can't actually block the roads off, can you? So get out of my way. Right, let's take a left and let's slowly work our way through downtown Kerepathos. And you've got an Indian restaurant right in front of us. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. Jayanta, there we are. I know it does some good food and it's been there for quite a few years. So lots of reports back saying it's good. You've got the Buzz Pub coming up. Mr. Marios owns this place and uh, lots of sports are shown there football, tennis, cricket, all those kind of things. There's quite a few sports bars in the Kedapathos area, by the way, so don't worry if your favorite football team is playing. There's plenty of places for you to go and watch. Pop into some of these bars and inquire, and they'll let you know if they're gonna show, I don't know, Newcastle against Everton, or perhaps they're gonna show Manchester United against Manchester City. But uh, just go and check it out before you get there. Anyway, look at that hotel in front of us now. Now that is the Sofiana Resort and Spa. And as we speak, there is a family of superstars staying in there. Yes, J-Mac, T-Mac, Sophie Mac and J.J. Mac. They're in there as we speak. I'm gonna go and hunt them down and uh, have a word with J-Mac because he was the gentleman that recommended me to go and buy a GoPro. So I did, and I spent almost a thousand euros on it, and uh, absolute rubbish, absolute rubbish is what it is. I've only ever used it twice, and on both occasions it overheated. So there we go. GoPro, I don't want your sponsorship. I'm gonna go with uh, something else, there we go. Some people meandering along in the middle of the road, bewildered and wondering where are they? They're looking for the Paphos Mall, I think. Because if you keep going along this road, you're gonna to come to the Paphos Mall, that is for sure. We're gonna join the main ring road, as I call it. And it's the ring road from the big church where Russian Road is, if you understand me. And then we're gonna come out just before the Paphos Skywalk and just before the Paphos Mall. What's this one doing, eh? There we are. I don't think he knows himself, to be honest, but we'll let him off and we'll keep going. When you're driving around in Paphos, um, be careful if you understand me. People miss turnings and they just slam their brakes on and slam them into reverse or he just wants to stop and then finish his cigarette and have a frappe. Who knows? Rant over, Mr. Andy. Here we are. This is the ring road. The big building over there towards the left is the Pathos Mall and no one ever lets you out. There's never any courtesy in downtown Cyprus unless you happen to see a man in a black air class. That's me. I'll normally let you out or flash you. But one thing's for sure, I don't like stopping at those little things called red traffic lights. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, why not hit that like, click the subscribe and perhaps come back for a little bit more of our madness. And if you want to help the channel to grow, why not go through to our about page, find the little icon called buy me a coffee and hit it once or twice. We'll use your money to pop it in the tank and make these videos especially for you. Pathos Mal Roundabout. To the left is the harbour. We're now going to go on to Two and the King Roads, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.